There's another one of these fucking things! Yes, apparently the Shark Tale PC port is somewhat different to the game on the PS2. Well, shit. I guess I gotta play this now as well. Unless... Unless I take the easy way out and decide to wear my moldy power armor helmet. <gasps> I don't think that this is, uh, I don't think this is working. No. Fuck this. Well, guess I'm reviewing Shark Tale. Well, whoopty fucking D. Turns out this thing doesn't open no matter what compatibility settings I throw at it. Thank fuck I'm a member of the glorious PC Master Race. I love buying games that don't Fucking work! Oh well, I guess it's time to do something that I've had on the burner for some time. Because believe it or not, Yash Future Tech, those jackasses that brought us Unknown City, that kids kart racing game, and that shitty balloon popping game, have released yet another game this year. And it's just awful. Gladiator's Blades of Fury is YFT's answer to, uh... Dark Souls, I think? It's an arena type game with Dark Souls-esque combat featuring a cast of characters very reminiscent of the Galaxy Warriors. Yeah, this is gonna be a weird one. I actually played this game when it first came out, but it was when I was halfway through editing episode 44, and I have only just gotten around to talking about it since. What I'm trying to say is that I got this game hot off the presses, and it's been a while since I played it. But hold on, in the interest of fairness, couldn't the game have been patched since then? <laughs> I can assure you that there's little to no danger of that, given the broken shit that I've played on this company's lineup that's been out for literal years. Anyway, there are four clans in this game. Knights, Barbarians, Dwarves, and Assassins. Each one has advantages and disadvantages, and all of them eventually came together to found an airline company. Also, I couldn't help but notice that the Dwarves have a plus as their sort of icon, Kinda like a first aid box. I really don't get that, but okay. On my first playthrough, I opted for the night and found... Sir L S <laughs> What's wrong with his face?! <laughs> Sir, what's wrong with your face?! <laughs> He's so happy to be there! I, I love it! I love this game! Uh he doesn't know he's here. I don't know if I want to be the happy- Conrad the Titan. Conrad is the happiest motherfucker who ever lived. And this guy is melting. He's like a Game of Thrones character who like... Got his face melted. I go with this guy. <laughs> so I end up going up against Smirky Cervantes who has a skull for a nipple since he apparently lost them both in a terrible accident at some point. Anyway, after it's done loading core, it takes us to this rather promising scene with a windy atmosphere that makes the trees move, which is kind of cool, but then you move and... Oh dear. It genuinely feels like a drunk brawl, and I've been punched in their head a few times before it even started. Anyway, I died and then this happened. On the second round, I figure out how to use my shield and roll around like in Dark Souls. However, I ended up losing and ended up moving on to Iron Fist. The game takes a while to load, so long in fact that I had enough time to find, plug in and set up my headphones in between matches. And that took about a minute to achieve. Nice. 
So then I face the snow giant here and learn that you get a bit more control of your movement if you hold your shield up. Which is somewhat realistic, but I get the feeling that this might just be the bright side of some truly incompetent game design. You can probably tell that I'm getting a little better with each passing moment, but I still feel like every hit that I land is pure luck. Even though I'm winning, I legitimately don't feel like I am. I just feel like things are just going my way. I'm not winning with skill, and I'm winning by complete accident. The fights usually take a while due to the abundance of misses from both parties, and all that you can hear on my commentary track is me repeatedly clicking to try and get anywhere. On the second round, I somewhat stopped caring and things got a shit real fast. Visually, this isn't the worst Yash Future Tech game, which is a pretty sad sentence that I've just said there, but it is true. There isn't as much screen tearing, everything looks like it's supposed to, and there aren't any bad textures in the background or just weird ass objects like the obelisk in Unknown City. I have to admit, if I'm being fair, this almost looks like the bare bones of a game that could actually be good. I'll give it that. Like, that is the most backhanded compliment I've ever given, but I imagine that if you polish this, got somebody to, like, make it so that the lighting wasn't complete shit, and made it so that the graphics didn't look like complete shit, and actually spent time and effort and whatever making this better, if you hired some actual talent to give this game a makeover, it could be something. Like, I... To be honest, the, the UI interface is the most impressive part about this game. Um, and I think if the same competency was actually in the game itself, it would actually be somewhere close to decent. I mean, as it stands, it's just, y you know. I mean, look at that out there, you can't even see anything. It's like an abyss. Like, all you had to do was put some smoke out there or something to mask it, but... Or maybe a brick wall. Or... A row of dancing, naked... Dwarves. You know, this game was on a bit of a roll. I was actually willing to shower it in backhanded compliments. But then, potato-headed Beowulf turns up, holding his hammer like he's trying to do fisticuffs. As I said in my initial reaction, the UI is pretty decent for the most part, though it's really fucking sad that the user interface is the most impressive part of your game. I mean, you had Sekiro Shadows Die Twice come out this month, alongside this very game, and I'm sure people praise that for more than its competent user interface. I mean, most people ignore it because it's just insignificant, but I guess not with this game, it's the highlight of the experience. R.I.P. Beowulf. May a flight of Angelina Jolie's poorly rendered sing ye to thy rest. So, I tried to get to the 10th fight, but I couldn't. I mean, maybe I could if I tried. Like, really tried, but sadly, I couldn't be asked. I mean, the game is just a chore to sift through. Every fight is the same. There's barely any maps to fight in. They start repeating themselves after a few minutes, and it gets really annoying. And only one or two of the maps are remotely acceptable to begin with. The characters looking really stupid is a novelty that quickly wears off for a YFT game. Oh look, there's snow! They've got snow and ice that looks like fucking shit, but it, at least they tried. <laughs> Oh, what are you say about my mum? What, you fucking dick? Now, oh, R.I.P. Conrad the Titan. You're not smiling anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking T-posed. That's some uh, brilliant taunting right there. This was the best Yash Future Tech game I'd played at the point that I'd played it given that it worked as intended and the problems weren't below surface level like they were with that kid's racing game. It's not like that Super Kids Racing where the fucking wheels would clip through the floor on certain models of car. 
<laughs> you can do a roll whilst he's doing that, and he's up his ass. Round one, winner. However, that is literally all I have to say at this point. I didn't get to the end, but can you blame me? I mean, just look at this thing. Trying to fight is such a pain, and fuck it to hell and back if I'm going to fight to the end for a non-ending. Well, I guess I'll just leave things off with the Gladiator's roll call. You know what, if this was a Game of Thrones tie-in game, this would actually be the best Game of Thrones tie-in game. <laughs> Barbarossa! Baraka's loser cousin. Predator, Predator the horny. Beowulf, Beowulf the wumpy. Drogo, Drogo Skullnit. Scantily clad Sonya. Sonya. Crimson Flow. I'm guessing he's named after a condition he suffers from. I don't want to know if that's the case. Ariel, Ariel Winter, Winter! The Dunmer of Many Pointies. Shadow, shadow Stalker. Stalker! She... stalks shadows, I guess? She doesn't sound very bright. Black, Black Slinger. Slinger! A gold medal winner at the racist Olympics. Black Slinger really doesn't belong in this game. I mean, you can tell from his style. He's from a very stylistic looking game, but... Oh well. We also have Ray. Ray, 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 Ray. A... Failed Quan Chi experiment. Hippolyte, 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 Hippolyte. The unmade bed. Longbeard. Long Giggy's loser cousin. Tharin Lockjaw. Iron Fist. The champion of anal. Angmar. Angmar uh -huh. Who murdered Lumiere and uses his corpse as a weapon. And finally we have Little, Little Digger, Digger. Who I assume is the black sheep of Huck's family. So yeah, the game kinda sucks. But hey, at least it's functional enough to actually be a game. It'd genuinely be sad though if this was the best game that I'm gonna cover in this mini marathon. Well, guess we'll only see with time, unfortunately. Jesus Christ, that is bright, that. Hello, uh, just a quick thing, whilst the credits are rolling. Um, I'm going to be doing Stand Up For Cancer again this year, which is happening between the 11th of October and the 25th. So I've already started some pre-recorded stuff so that I have things to do uh, when there's gaps in my schedule where I won't be able to do live streams or upload. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to do all 10 days. Don't want to do much more than one a day because if I do, it might start to get annoying for people. It would annoy me, so I'm trying to get a good balance where you know I'm doing a lot, but at the same time I'm not doing too much to the point where it might annoy people. So yeah, we're accepting any and all donations. Just make sure you donate responsibly. Don't spend money you haven't got or put yourself in financial difficulty you know i'm pretty sure there are plenty more people but as many as possible would be best so please uh feel free to chip in and hopefully this year we can beat last year's record kind of liking this whole every year it gets a bit better so I'm hoping that this year we can really break the records and do even better and uh, hopefully this is going to be a fantastic series. This YFT thing, that is going to be a whole like series. That is going to be one episode, kind of like the religious thing I did. I'm going to do like 10 mini reviews in one episode during the Stand Up To Cancer thing. I've already recorded the live action segments. It's just the voiceovers that I need to do for that and the editing and all that crap. I'm going to try and do a bit of that every day. So hopefully by the end of the month, we'll be celebrating another success. So yeah, hope to see you next week. And I hope I survive.